Okay, next segment. I'm not going to string these together because, I mean, I could make this one hour long video. I could make this video an hour long, string it together, but it would take probably 24 hours to upload it. So I try to keep these short, 30 minutes and under. I've always had that issue, except at my sister's house where the, the Wi-Fi or the phone service is very slow. Here it's worse than it was back at my house in Texas. So a 30 minute video, if I'm lucky, it takes three hours. If I'm not lucky, it takes nine hours. There are certain spots in town I just blew off that bar. Uh, there are spots in town with better reception. It's still not too bad. It's still got most of its symmetry. There are spots in town with better reception than other spots. The towers are right here, right up on a hill, but the guests are not that powerful. Not much wattage or whatever. I don't know. So you can't see anything. Yeah, you you can't see anything. I don't think. Right? You can't see anything. And I can't zoom in. I can't zoom in from this particular setup. Where I had the front camera. Well, I don't know what they call this. There's cameras on both sides of the phone. So on this side of the phone, I can't zoom in. I can zoom in if I'm filming on the other side. But then I can't see the viewfinder, so I don't know if I'm in frame. Right now, I'm, I can watch myself nap. I can see if I'm centered or whatever. I can see if I'm up in, in the, with a white background or the black background. I'll just wear a black shirt next time with a, this little black apron. Yeah. You can't see, so I'll just do this quick. Quickly. There's nothing going on in the background. See, is there anything going on in the background? Right here? The neighbor's car? Sometimes you can see him fiddling around over there. There's a compost pile. It's just out of frame. And there's a lot of wildlife that come around at night. You can't see it right now. Just out of frame. Barely out of frame. Yeah, he must have excellent food available because we have a compost pile too out back, but the animals don't like coming around ours. They go to the neighbors. He's got better food over there. Apparently. Yeah, the one we got is mostly mostly vegetables and eggshells. Probably not that appetizing. Anyway. Hold on. Almost there. Almost can show you where I'm at. This won't be a very long video. I'm not going to torture you with this view forever.
those of you that are curious if I am using my legs to do these heavy pressure flakes oh yes just like everybody else I don't like the setup though I don't like this uh, this particular technique all that much I don't know if there's any other way to get around it I'd like to be able to do pressure flaking in some other way so even with the leg assist I still have problems with the wrists this one and that one uh, for some reason it's still in, a, in an odd angle I don't know what it is I don't know what it is see it's, it's not straight right it's at an odd that would be straight right there it's at an odd angle at least with me I don't know the same with you if I try to I can't straighten it out and if I have a curved flaker that can straighten my wrist out straighten it out like that yeah the natural wrist angle is right there but I'm always like this All right now if I had a, a, a bent Ishii stick a curved one it might work right but then I couldn't spin it because then the curved part would be going like this you know Should I continue? Is this good enough? Can you get over shots with pressure? Oh yes. I almost got one right there. Anyway, I will show you a regular view, close up of the floor tile napping and with natural tools just so you can see. Just so you can see the misery up close. How miserable it is to nap this stuff with natural tools and if you think you'll be doing this when the when the shaving cream hits the fan and you're trying to survive I don't think we have to worry about making these out of stone okay or out of floor tile I don't think it'll get that desperate Not when there's a bunch of other things laying around like glass bottles. <laughs> anyway, broken glass, pane glass, window glass. It's not like all the windows are not going to be blown out. see I'm trying to set up for blasting through a step fracture that you can't see I'm not going to show you might have to just to show you that I'm failing unless I scoop it out or whatever it's called pushing up against the step fracture with the spatula tool I won't be able to see it now Yeah, it looks like a newbie made this one. Oh, that's right. I sold all my 
I sold all my other pressure flakers and this one's already getting dull. Yeah, I need to make like four more of these EC stick pressure flakers with thinner tips. I thought I kept one back, but I, I didn't. I sold them all. Anyway, let's see. I'm going to stop here. This is a Levana point, okay? Levana point made of natural natural Vermont floor tile. Actually, I bought this in New Hampshire. New Hampshire floor tile. Natural. Levana. Step fracture I had was right there. Actually, there were two. So I just pushed on them and with the spatula tool. But it's getting really worn down. That's about as worn as it gets. I need to put a new nail in there. Can you hear me? Let's see. Can you hear me now? <laughs> so that's it. The base is thin down enough to stick it into a haft. All right, we got thinning flakes. It will thin from the base, and yes, you can make a clovis from it, or with it, if you make it small, because it's not that thick, all right? Let's see. Compare thickness. Can we compare? Ah, there it goes. I'm like a 32nd of an inch under on each side. Yeah, something like that. Still kind of thick. I've made thinner ones on video. Now what's good, what's cool about this, and I haven't really explored it, but you can dye this material different colors. You can dip them in dye. And since it's porous, it'll absorb the color. All right, so maybe I'll explore some of that. Dip them in, you can dip this in black dye or red dye or even blue. Whatever you need, whatever you want. You can paint on it. So it doesn't have to always be this dull gray or this reddish color or a tan color. You can dye these. Yeah. All right. I didn't do any edge work except for regularizing the edge. And uh, what, what kind of edge work can be done? Uh, serrations. Little flaking. Uh, bevel flaking. Median ridge development. Uh, let's see, what else? You know, anything you can put on a regular stone that doesn't require a lot of consistency. Uh, why do I say that? It's because the platforms on this stuff are not very strong. So uh, pushing on them to develop a lot of power to run a long, narrow flake is difficult because the platforms are not strong on this type of material. So they crush. So when you want to push off a long flake, you need a big old platform. And usually you can get maybe one or two, um, let's say one every quarter inch. But when you get tighter than that, it's hard to run longer ones. Well, you'll see. I haven't really gone into detail about uh, consistent parallel flaking. I don't nap that way, so I never went into that. But I keep getting questions and questions and questions and people are narrowing down the areas I haven't covered and they're swamping me with questions in those little narrow areas okay so yeah that's it for now I'm trying to think if this is comparable to the ones I've done before I think this is exactly the same type I've done I've done in my other videos Yeah. It feels the same way now. 
I won't know for sure until I try to thin it down a lot. But it feels like it's the same stuff. Okay, that's it. Alright, I changed the view and I'm going to see what I can do about finishing this out with some pressure to refine the edges. There's not much that needs to be done, but I'm going to do another pass just so I can round out this segment. Okay. The lighting's not that great. Hold on. Gonna do it. Is it gonna do it? Okay. Can everybody see? I'm having a hard time seeing. A lot of this pressure flicking didn't even show up in the last video or in the last little piece. can't stick the lamp on the other side. This side's not doing me much good. Okay. A little bit too delicate to run long flakes, so I'm going to grind it way down. You can run long flakes on this, relatively speaking. I've seen it done, I just I haven't really worked on this in a while. This type of material, this floor tile. Actually the finer abrader works better than the really coarse abrader. takes more of the edge off. For some reason, the coarse abrader makes quicker work of the very beginning of the abrading, but to really get down to the, the dulling, the finer grit works better. Yeah, okay, except I blew away part of the tip. Yeah. Well, I put a lot of pressure on that one. Spacing these apart. How did I blow the tip off again? Did I touch the pad? Or did the wood touch the... The wood might have touched the tip. I don't know. No, come on. Don't make me use the indirect. either too too much or too little once I get down to this halfway mark I'm gonna have to use indirect percussion to do those flakes Yeah, you guys encountering this too? I'm forgetting how easy it is to snap the tips off on this stuff. So forget that. I'm not going to mess with it. I'm going to maybe thin it down a little bit, but then I'm going to call it quits. 
and then reset my brain and make another one from scratch. Uh, we're trying to remember that it's very, very easy to snap off the thin areas and then get readjusted to the floor tile after making a few more. But I'm not going to do it off camera. Usually, you know, I do the prep off camera, but I can't do anything off camera other than something that takes me 20 minutes because I've got a lot of stuff to do. A lot of projects. I can maybe spare 20 minutes here and there, but everything else has to be on video because I've got a certain number of hours I put on video, or try to anyway. I tried to schedule it. So if I do anything, I have to first consider, do I do it on video? Because I don't have much time on the side. I gotta do it on video. It's the only other time. It's the only way I can fit it in. And then skip some of the video requests or try to get a list going and rearrange the order every now and then, depending on what I have available for tools and materials. Some video requests like how do you make points in India? I still don't have the tools ready. It's a whole different tool set for the way they make arrowheads in India. I gotta make that tool set. They don't use any of our methods at all. None of them. Let's see, you guys that have been around a while, you know, you know the indirect percussion methods they use. So I can't demonstrate that yet because I got to make the tool set. So I got it, but it's still on the list. Got to prioritize it. I can do the floor tile quickly, but the floor tile is a whole nother ball game. It's a whole nother world that uh, I've been neglecting for a while because I figure I got enough videos on them. I, I can just point people to the videos, but I haven't done any natural tools on floor tile so here I go I gotta delve back into the floor tile start with the modern tools because there's no maintenance basically on the modern tools very minimal I just did maintenance right now it took me maybe 15 to 20 minutes whereas if I were to do maintenance on my Natural tools, it would take me an hour and 15 minutes. Why? Why does it take so long when it... You just sand it down real easy. It's because you have to be very careful and make sure that the natural tool is consistent material. Sometimes I sand right through the hard part of the antler into the pith. And I didn't even know I was that close to the pith. So there I go, I gotta go look through the, the uh, antler I have for another piece. And then sand that one down. Is that one solid or did I hit the pith again? Or is that one somehow cracked? Is it cracked somewhere? Sometimes I come up with an antler that's cracked in a weird spot. I have to start over again. Next, next, next. Usually it's not that bad, but when it gets bad, it's really bad. There are some days when there's no cooperation at all. Yeah. 
Yeah, floor tile. I'm trying to think of a a natural stone that's common that everyone can pick up. It's, it's similar to some of the raw Mississippi gravel, but none of the Mississippi gravel is this crushy. It's sort of sort of this crushy, but not really that bad. And crushy means the edge the edge crushes even though you abrade it a lot. It'll crush right when you need it not to on the floor tile. The floor tile will crush right when you need it not to crush. Like right now. It's not it's not releasing. I I I braid it a lot and it will not release. And uh, I can't tell if it's the technique or if that's just a hard spot within the tile. The tile is not that consistent as far as I know. It doesn't really have to be. <clears throat> it doesn't really have to be all that consistent. So there might be little hard spots in it or soft spots. There might be. I don't know. It could be that it's just... Losing, I'm losing power somewhere in the strike. I'm holding it, a, I gotta hold it up higher than I normally would. I've got to dodge the lamp because the lamp's right here now. Let's move it again. I always have trouble with the position of the lamp interfering with the strikes. Yeah, I can hit harder if I have a more of a range the tip blew off again I didn't even hit anywhere near the tip so that's that's one of the issues so it's just part of learning what the issues are yep just gotta learn what the issues are before you move on to the next one so the issues are the edge crushes, there's step fracturing. It's pretty typical of this level of material, you know, about the average. Except for the tip snapping off that easily. Most rock doesn't do that. Snapping off from a distance when you hit Unless it's obsidian. It, it does it with obsidian, yeah. And yeah, I was, I was hitting that extremely hard. Let's see if I can push off. Yeah, it's easy to push off from a step fracture. Much easier than stone. Yeah. So there is that little benefit. It's a small consolation though for losing the tip. That's losing the tip is really really a bummer. Okay. Can you hunt with floor tile? I've been asked that so many times. I keep answering yes, 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 yes. I don't know, I think I've answered yes to that about 50 times and it's still, can you hunt with it? Yes. Yeah, but can you hunt with it? Yes. When it, you know, if you go hunting, can you use it? <laughs> yes. I got hunting arrows. Can I use these arrowheads with floor tile? Yeah. But what about what about for hunting? Yeah. Can 
gets to the point where, hey man, tell your buddies. Yeah, this is like, this is like average, average uh, social quality chert. It doesn't hold an edge that great, but it holds an edge for one shot, you know? And a lot of times that's all it is, one shot, one shot deal. These are one shot deals. Even with stone, you know, it gets dull after one shot. And you have to resharpen if it doesn't break. So yeah, for one shot deals, this will work. Sure it works for hunting, dude? Yeah, works. it works. Tell your buddies. Tell your buddies that you got some stuff left over from the remodeling on the floor tile. You can use that instead of spending, you know, 600 bucks on the stones. You just spend 60 bucks on the floor tile. Nap your 100 pounds or whatever before you get used to it. Will it hold serrations? Yeah, it holds little bitty ones. I wouldn't put big ones on there. So that's it. I just wanted to nap for about 15 minutes so you to uh, take up this time. Yeah, typical of the arrowheads around here, but usually they make them out of quartzite around here. So I'll be making these on video out of quartzite, but this nap's similar to quartzite of poor quality. You know, some quartzite is really good. It's up in the seven, six or seven range. This is like four or five, the floor tile. So four or five on the quartzite. I'm, I'm downgrading the floor tile a little bit to four or five. I said it's not five or six, it's like four or five. Because of the fact that the tips, that tip snapped off when I hit the middle. That hardly ever happens, all right? So I'm downgrading it by one point. But I'm not going to downgrade it by two points because you can push off on some of these step fractures pretty easily. And get rid of them. Yeah, you can push on those. Okay, there you go, that's it.